Hello friends, welcome to Selenium tutorial. Uh, this is video 11 of this video tutorial series for Selenium web driver. In this video I will talk about how to inspect element in Internet Explorer using Fire IE Selenium. So this is one of the tool developed by some of the developers Google uh, Fire IE Selenium. Right. So what is this Fire IE Selenium? So Fire IE Selenium is the um, like it's the Excel utility uh, developed by some developer to find out the XPath or your uh, CSS which will be used for our automation script. In my previous tutorial we talked about how to inspect element by using Firebug Firepath in Mozilla Firefox and in Chrome I have shown you how we can write a XPath in XPath helper right so this is XPath helper extension so in Google Chrome you can write a query in XPath helper and you can find out a result <coughs> the results over here right so for for this videos you can refer my blog testautomator.n here you can go to software test sorry selenium tutorial selenium web driver and you can find all tutorials over here right so I'm updating it you can keep watching the space so in this video we will talk about fire IE selenium right so as I said it is used to uh, find out XPath or CSS path or other details of your particular element which you want to uh, use in your automation script fire IE selenium it will work only Internet Explorer. It is an Excel utility. I'll, I'll just show you. So how you can download this? You can get it from this link codegooglecom p selenium downloads Right. So just go to Internet Explorer. go to the address which I have shown you code.google.com now here go to the latest one fire is selenium save this right and I want to open this once it is saved just open this hello Uh, enable editing and enable content now it will ask you if you want to open a browser just proceed and enter your URL over here so I'll just uh, write my blog test automator dot in and click on load whichever website which you want to load you can type the URL and click on load right the website will load over here so I have some uh, problem with this uh, my page script on the page so that is why it is showing the and uh, not a problem but it is not supporting so it will show the error right so from this and it is not showing up properly because of my uh, issue with my page so you can try the website which you want and <coughs> sorry and uh, you can navigate to the website from here you can just go to anywhere wh wherever you want I want to go to Selenium web driver right so you can navigate like this now let us say I want uh, address I want xpath for this address so just navigate to this and you can see just navigate to this and you can find this is my xpath oh, it is not capping on this now you can see a uh, multiple uh, values in my Uh, here at the bottom xpath relative xpath absolute so what is this relative and absolute I'll talk in my next tutorial so as soon as I move my cursor to any of the field like I am I have moved it to this categories then it is showing you the xpath okay select at the rate id is equal to 
fine as, as soon as you move it it will show you a x path relative and x path absolute here now if I want to I if you if I want to find out multiple x path and if I if, if I want to use them later then what I can do is just move your cursor over here right now you can see a x path of this particular drop down that is select id is equal to category and class is equal to this then what you can do is if I want to save this then what you can do is here you can and click on insert detail so that it will be inserted in your excel sheet so I'll just <coughs> click on insert detail and I'll give the name of this drop down as a category drop down fine okay then if I want to add a drop down of archive click on archive right the drop down uh, of this uh, xpath is sorry x xpath of this drop down has been um, here relative and absolute click on insert detail and this is my archive drop down in the similar way if I want a drop down of this particular text box click on the text box and click on insert detail search text box right so okay so I want I wanted these three X path and CSS paths from this uh, what is this X path uh, sorry fire fire I selenium so that's how you can find and now you can close this and as soon as you close this you can find so I'll just delete this so this is the original sheet right and these are the x path which we wanted this is the x path of category this is the x path of this uh, archive drop down this is the x path of this search form right and this is the css path this is the css path css path and css path right uh, you can find other details as well this is my relative x path which is starting from the uh, node and uh, the name which I have given for category drop down this is my x path for uh, for my archive drop down this is my x path for my search text box this is my x path right so this will be helpful in some of the cases like uh, what you do in firebug and firepath you just uh, find out x path uh, like the x path one by one element by element uh, but here what you can do is you can you can go to the page and you can find all the x path or css path like whatever you want here you can get id as well by id by name if id is available you will get id if name is available you will get a name if and the tag name what is the tag name for drop down tag name is select right and x path uh, this is real, uh, absolute this is uh, sorry there is some problem this is relative and this is absolute and you can get a css path and css path right so this is how this fire ie selenium fire ie browser fire ie selenium will be helpful for our um, for our writing automation script to find out a web element locator right so this is how we can find uh, elements and in internet explorer using fire ie selenium so this is just a excel utility so you can download it once and you can use it multiple times just close it don't save this and you can open it again and run the again by using the similar way right so that is how we can inspect the element using fire ie selenium in internet explorer i hope this helps for more videos keep referring my blog test automated.in thanks